Sorry about the wind. We're up about 10,000 feet. But on our trip over to the Grand Canyon, we took another side detour, and here we are at Cedar Breaks National Monument. Again, we're above 10,000 feet, and the wind is howling. But I just wanted to take a second to give you a view of Cedar Breaks National Monument. This is a beautiful monument, looks much like Bryce. And here we are looking to the west. A lot of smoke in the air, unfortunately. What a spectacular monument this is. And it doesn't really see very many people. Here's another view of this beautiful national monument. We're looking due west now. See the smoke on the horizon. The wind is just again, I said this in another video, but the wind is blowing so hard out here, it makes it difficult to talk. It takes your breath away. This is pretty impressive. We're up about 9,000 feet, and this is a lava flow that you're looking at. I never expected to see this up here. I've been in Utah for 40 years plus. This is the first time I've been on this road. And up here at this altitude, the Quakies are start to change, starting to change. They turn a beautiful golden color. Not like the maples back east, but they are spectacular. And so, on our way down to the Grand Canyon, we decided to take another side trip. And uh, this is where we have wound up. I hope you can see that. We are in Zion National Park. Let me do a turnaround here. And then I'll come back. Now the great thing about this part of the park, the sad, the sad truth about Zion is that uh, this is a park that is just inundated from about the middle of April until the middle of, uh, until about the middle of October. But we're up in the Kolob Canyon section and this park only sees a fraction of the number of people that visit the main section of the park. And it's very, very uh, easy to get to. It's about 25 miles north of St. George. The freeway has an exit that's only about, 
couple of hundred yards from the entrance to the park. Um, beautiful scenery, beautiful place to uh, to shoot um, um, landscape types of photographs. Uh, in addition to that, there are three hikes out of this area, one short range, one medium, and one long range. The long range, I believe, is about a 20 mile hike. So if you want to avoid the crowds at Zion, come on up to Colon Colob Canyon. Very few people get up here relative to the no, total number of people that visit the park every year, and it is truly spectacular. Wait till you see the vistas that uh, I have waiting for you up ahead. So we're about 8,500 feet here, and what you're looking at in the distance is the heart of, the, of Zion National Park. Just do a little bit of a panoramic, panoramic, panoramic view here. Just a gorgeous view of, of Zion. And here what we're doing is we're looking down into a uh, south-facing section of the Kolob Canyons that you cannot see for, from uh, much of the road. We had a rainstorm here this morning, a very heavy rainstorm, and it's really, really cleaned the air out significantly. So the, the red sandstone is just, is just popping. And if you look at this um, mountain dead center, this is actually a petrified sand dune, which I think is pretty cool, but other people may think is too nerdy. Uh, Zion National Park is just filled with these petrified sand dunes. I think, again, this is looking, uh, this is looking east into the heart of the park.